We are the twin poets, Brother Al, Brother Anamdi, the poet laureates of the state of Delaware, and you're watching Chester View. Twin poets, Alan Nambi, poet laureates from the state of Delaware. Glad to be here in Chester to inspire our children. Our, our children need art. Art truly empowers our children, gives them a voice, shows them the tools that they have, the beauty that they have inside, and how to bring it out and help to change not only their own lives through this transformative power of the arts, but also transform their communities, their families, and the world. And that there is no situation that if anyone's going through that art can't help you through. And, and with the art, we can write ourselves a better life. So tomorrow can come with a pen and a pad. You know, you just got to believe in yourself, your, your talents, and get it out because it's, it's a lot of trauma going on in the inner cities, and our kids are walking around with this all buried down and inside. And we, we as artists, we got to be able to get back to the kids and allow these kids to vent and get it out and express themselves, you know, and release that. That way we're not having any little explosions on street corners. Or I was mad at this kid and that kid. So we got it's all about giving back to the kids so they can see a better day. So we can stop. I mean, at, when we were young, we, I hear my uncle saying, oh, what, they used to do this and do that. Now, now we're the uncles, and now it's our time to be doing this and that so the kids can go out and play in the streets and not worry about gunshots. And so it's up to us. We have to take responsibility for our community as black men. We appreciate it. Thanks for the time and encourage you all to voice your staff to keep it up. I'm gonna be no doctor. I'm gonna be an astronaut. Boy, you ain't gonna be no lawyer. Man, I'm gonna be a chef. I just be cooking like man, that. Man, please. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be. You really ain't I'm, gonna I'm, be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a doctor. I don't care what you no. say. Don't you know that around here dreams are illegal? I heard that dreams are illegal. Don't you know that dreams are illegal? I heard that dreams are illegal. I heard that dreams are illegal, but I am dreaming. I heard that dreams are illegal, but I am dreaming. I had a dream. I had a dream I was in America when I was actually landing the free in the home of the brave. My boss came into my office and said, Hi, Bob, how's it going? Why don't you take off early and here's that rage? Now, as I pulled my suburban up to my suburban home, I got the mail out the box off the proof for another home equity loan. Great. The girls got there ringing the bell with cookies to sell. Of course, I brought a box of Hillary Quiet down Marmaduke over getting the bark. And then later on, my wife and the kids took a bike ride to the park. Keep up there. When we got back with apple pie with ice cream on top, then we buckled up and hit on that black bus to get some DVDs to watch. We returned, the kids were in that PJs, relaxing the den for some family time watching videos. Only strangers turn and said to me, what, what, what are you doing here? Don't, don't you know, know that dreams are illegal? What are you doing here? Don't you know that dreams are illegal? Those gunshots. Gunshots. Gunshots ring in the heat of the night, followed by screams violently disrupting my dreams. You see, in my neighborhood, I don't need to read the paper or watch the news to notice something bad happened out here tonight. Well, what's the ambulance leave and the police siren stop and the crowd disperses? That silence. That silence soaks into my soul, sobering my senses, and it's often over intoxicating society. And I, I try to relax. I try to relax, but the, the devil, devil just won't let go. He keeps pointing to the signs that I posted all around me to read. Dreams are illegal. You see, my neighborhood at the, the bottom, bottom of the borough where drugs get mixed. mixed. Here, there are no brothers and sisters, just confused brothers and sisters. Here people drown in the backwash of the latest political scandal. Here the devil is in sweet control as dreams are stolen. You know there is no honor amongst thieves, so dreams are stolen with ease. A high school graduate, barely 17, gives up her college dreams for a pair of tight jeans and a chance to be the next inner city queen. In the inner city, checks and basketballs bounce with regularity. Life and death in a mix with no disparity. Some children live for nothing and some children die for nothing. Every day, blue skies are gray. All they know is that they want to make dumb. Get paid. The devil has them chasing the colorless rainbow. And at the end, there is no pot of gold, just a pot of steam, which he exchanges for their dreams. You see, bona fide slaves are made in the devil's dream trade. Without dreams, you are equivalent to being non-existent. You see, our children, our children need to be told they can achieve, and that God bless those who hold on to their dreams. We gotta take down the signs so the kids won't know that the devil is trying to make dreams. And not, not drugs, but he's trying to make dreams illegal, but dreams are not illegal. Thank you.